The Earth can't be round. The rotation of the planet around its axis causes it to have an additional 0.3% of a bulge near the equator. This bulge is caused by the planet's rotation. The circumference of the Earth is 12,714 kilometers, 7,900 miles, when measured from the North Pole to the South Pole, and it is 12,756 kilometers, 7,926 miles, when measured through the equator. Approximately one-third of the diameter of the Earth is represented by the difference, which is 42.78 kilometers, 26.58 miles. Because this difference is so minute that it cannot be observed in photographs taken from space, the Earth seems to be spherical to human sight. In recent years, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of NASA has conducted research that implies melting glaciers are contributing to the expansion of the waistline of the Earth. In this video, we are going to discuss some unbelievable facts you don't know about Earth. Number 8. It is getting longer than the days are. The length of the day on Earth is getting longer. After the formation of the Earth 4.6 billion years ago, the length of a day on Earth would have been approximately 6 hours. This number had climbed to 21.9 hours by the time 620 million years ago had passed. Today, the typical day is 24 hours long. Nevertheless, the length of the day is growing by approximately 1.7 milliseconds every century. What is the reason? Due to the tides that it contributes to the formation of, the Moon is causing the rotation of the Earth to slow down. The position of the tidal ocean bulges on Earth is pulled slightly ahead of the Moon-Earth axis as a result of the spin of the Earth, which results in the creation of a twisting force that slows down the rotation of the Earth overall. As a consequence of this, our day is getting longer, but it is not long enough to make a significantly different impact on your already packed agenda. Number 7. There was a time when there were not multiple continents. An on-again, off-again interaction between the continents of Earth has existed for millions of years. This relationship has been on and off. As the huge tectonic plates that the land masses of Earth ride atop came together approximately 800 million years ago, they assembled the continents into a large supercontinent known as Rodinia. The region that is now known as North America was located at the core of this supercontinent. Eventually, Rodinia disintegrated into several fragments, which recollided between 250 and 500 million years ago, resulting in the formation of the Ural Mountains in Russia and Kazakhstan, as well as the Appalachian Mountains within the United States of America. It was approximately 250 million years ago when the continents once again came together to form a new supercontinent known as Pangaea. This supercontinent was encircled by a single ocean that covered the entire planet. In the future, 50 million years from now, Pangaea started to disintegrate. Gondwanaland and Laurasia, two massive land masses, eventually broke apart to form the continents that we are familiar with today. It was caused by the division of the continents. Number 6. Periods of Ice on Earth Between 600 and 800 million years ago, the Earth went through a series of ice ages, which were characterized by dramatic climate shifts. This proposal, which is also known as the Snowball Earth Theory, proposes that the climate grew so frigid that some scientists believe the Earth froze twice, either almost totally or almost completely. There could have been four such episodes of alternate freezing and thawing, which would have been driven by drops in greenhouse gases, such as methane and carbon dioxide. During these eras, the Earth would have been covered by glacial ice from pole to pole. The majority of the sun's light would have been reflected into space by ice, which would have resulted in the average temperature of the planet being approximately 50 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit, with the equator experiencing temperatures comparable to those of Antarctica today. If snowball Earth occurs, which is a subject that is hotly debated, then humans were fortunate enough to not be around to experience the chill, because at that time, only microscopic and basic species were known to have existed. Number 5. The Driest Region on Earth The Atacama Desert, which is located in the northern part of Chile, is the driest region on the planet, and it is located right next to the Pacific Ocean, which is the largest body of water in the world. There is only 0.8 millimeters, 0.03 inches of rainfall on average each year in Arica, 
which is located in Chile. At the time of the surprise storm that occurred in 1972, it is estimated that the city of Calama in Atacama had not had rain for a period of 400 years. Even in its most arid regions, the Atacama Desert does not even have cyanobacteria, which are green photosynthetic microorganisms that live in rocks or understones. This is in contrast to the majority of deserts, which are rather warm and dry. Astrobiologists from NASA travel to the Atacama Desert in search of microorganisms that can survive in such a harsh environment. Their goal is to gain a better understanding of how life could thrive in other worlds. Number four, there are variations in the gravity of the Earth gravity. If the Earth was perfectly spherical, the gravitational field would be uniform across the entire planet. In actuality, however, the surface of the globe is uneven and the pull of gravity is altered by several factors, including the flow of water, the drift of glaciers, and the movement of tectonic plates beneath the crust of the Earth. An anomaly in gravity is the term used to describe these changes. A mountain range like the Himalayas is responsible for a positive gravity anomaly, which means that the force of gravity is greater in that region than it would be on a planet that is completely featureless and smooth. From its orbit above us, the GRACE Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment mission of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration is studying the gravitational field of the Earth in unprecedented detail. Number three, in the past, sea levels were very different. The most recent advance of ice on Earth began approximately 70,000 years ago, occurred 11,500 years ago, and reached its greatest extent 18,000 years ago. This progression began approximately 70,000 years ago. The Great Lakes basins were carved out by glaciers and sheets of ice during this historical period. Additionally, rivers were obstructed, which resulted in the Mississippi River and other rivers in the United States taking a different path. A significant amount of water was frozen into ice, which caused the sea level to drop by as much as 120 meters, 390 feet, thereby exposing portions of the ocean bottom that are now underwater. Number two, the sun that our sun has a voracious appetite. Similar to our sun, every star eventually ages and passes away. Following the depletion of its hydrogen reserves, the sun will eventually collapse under the force of gravity, eventually transforming into a red giant that is 100 times larger and 2,000 times more brilliant than Earth, so vaporizing the planet. Worry not, however, for it won't take place for approximately five billion years. Number one, the moon is not Earth's only companion. Two more bodies orbit close to Earth that are sometimes referred to as moons, even though they do not strictly deserve to be called moons. An asteroid that truly rounds the sun is known as 3,753 Kruthni, and it was discovered in the year 1986. It would appear that Kruthni is heading in the same direction as our planet, because it takes the same amount of time to orbit the sun as it does to orbit the sun. Considering the closeness of AA29 to our planet, scientists have proposed the idea of collecting samples from the planet and transporting them back to Earth. If you found this exploration of Earth's wonders fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more amazing content. Let's continue to discover and learn together.